Another popular technology used with Hadoop is something called Pig. And, you know, like Hive, it lets you do SQL-ish sort of things, but it introduces a new scripting language called Pig Latin that lets you do very powerful things as well. So, again, if you don't want to go all low level and actually write mappers and reducers yourself and chain them together yourself, Pig offers another alternative to doing this analysis at a, a higher level using scripting. So let's look at a real example and see how that actually works. All right, next let's talk about Apache's Pig service. So like Hive, Pig is also built on top of Hadoop and it's made for making short work of analyzing large data sets. It's, uh, it kind of looks a little bit like SQL when you look at it. So here's an example of some pig code that actually loads up a batting average database. And you can see a lot of things in here like group by and join. Looks a lot like SQL, but it's very different from SQL. And that's what differentiates itself from Hive. Basically, it's a new scripting language called pig Latin. So it's not really SQL at all. It's a procedural language. So while SQL, you know, you kind of work backwards from the data and kind of go inside out into how things work with with pig, you're actually writing procedurally each step one line at a time, which maps a lot better to how MapReduce actually works, right? So it also can work with Amazon's Elastic MapReduce service. So, you know, it is easy to spin up a large cluster and run pig jobs on it. Um, it was developed by Yahoo originally. And uh, again, it's it was intended to be a little bit closer to what you're doing under the hood than QL. Now, it does involve learning yet another language, unfortunately. So even if you do know Python and even if you do know SQL, if you're going to get up to speed on pig, you're going to have to learn pig Latin. So there's a learning curve there to run up against. But it can make it a lot simpler to write MapReduce jobs than actually writing individual mappers and reducers by hand. Now, for a lot of tasks, that's really not that tall of an order. Mappers and reducers can be pretty simple, but once you've mastered pig Latin, it can be a more compact way of representing them. So, you know, if you look at this little example down here, some actual pig Latin code, um, you can see how it's actually loading up batting average data and, you know, grouping them by year and looking at the maximum runs that happen by year and putting out the data in a whatever format we want. So probably a little bit less code there than the equivalent MapReduce job, but, you know, like I said, there's a learning curve. So that's Apache Pig in a nutshell. Again, it is a abstraction on top of Hadoop that lets you script SQL-like queries using Pig Latin, but as opposed to SQL, it is a procedural language where you define what you do one step at a time. All right, that's Pig. Pig is a relatively younger technology. Uh, it's been around for a few years now, but I gotta tell you, I've had some trouble with it in the past. So before you you know go and use pig make sure you test it out really well all right you know don't go tell your boss that your uh, your pig job works until you've actually tested it on a real large data set and it's run successfully for you know several days in a row um, it's gotten a lot better than it has been in the past but you know your mileage may vary so be careful but for a lot of people pig is a very easy way and a very quick way of analyzing data once you get over that learning curve of learning pig latin so that's pig another another tool in your toolbox for big data analysis